John Stott wrote that the motivation for mission is a heart that's jealous for the honour of God's name. And I just want to finish tonight by reading from uh, a wonderful character, Caleb, that we all know so well. It's an amazing story. He's a wonderful man. He really does inspire us. And I'm just going to read these verses as we close tonight. Confess just as a challenge. Some of you here, ministers, pastors of churches, you've got your own challenges. The churches in Ireland have their challenges. But we can say with this here, God enabling us, we go on preaching the gospel, sharing the good news, living out Christ, transformed lives as we are hearing from our latest leaders. The zeal and passion for Jesus that will burn up every other desire that we have so we just set ourselves to follow him, to finish well. This is, this is Caleb. They're now in the promised land. You remember the story of the, of the 12 who went in and they came back and Caleb and Joshua were outvoted 10 to 2. There was no way we could go in there. They're far too big. They like number us. We're like grasshoppers. They won the day and so the children of Israel wandered for 40 years in the wilderness. And God did not allow that generation to go into the promised land for the simple reason they wouldn't believe him. They dishonoured his name. Only Caleb and Joshua that wholeheartedly followed the Lord. And those two got in. They just didn't get in. They weren't happy to be in there. There was more than that in their heart. Listen to this. Now then, this is Caleb speaking. Now then, just as the Lord promised, he has kept me alive for 45 years since the time he said this to Moses while... Israel moved about in the desert. That was the promise God gave to him. The land in which your feet have walked will be your inheritance and that of your children forever because you have followed the Lord my God wholeheartedly. So here I am today, 85. Not right, Helen? Something like that. Very nearly. And the fire still burns in Helen's heart. Physically, she mightn't be able to run the marathon anymore but this burns 85 years old still as strong today as that day Moses sent me into the promised land I'm just as vigorous to go out and do battle now as I was then now give me this hill country that the Lord promised me that day. You yourself heard that the Anakids were there. Their cities were very large and fortified. And here comes the same little phrase. The Lord helping me, or God enabling me, I will drive them out just as he said. Then Joshua blessed Caleb, son of Jephunneh, and gave him Hebron and his inheritance. And you can read on. He took the land. So what is God's promise to you? What is God's promise to me? That tonight as we leave here we can say God enabling me. Or as a church fellowship. God enabling us. We will go on. Eddie faced discouragement didn't he? When somebody told him he was wasting his time. Have they ever told you that? There's a lady just put her head through the door here. She was listening to the first two songs. She came up, she says, I haven't paid to come in here. I said, you don't have to pay to come in. She says, I'm a backslider. I knew Jesus, don't know him now. I says, come on in. She said, no, I just listened to the singing. We go on living, testifying, sharing, working, laboring, whatever ministry God's given to you. In your church, in your fellowship. One of our leaders talked about the spirit of unity. How important that is for all of us. Whether it's in a mission, church or fellowship. So take this home with you tonight. God enabling us. We will go on. Undeterred. Refuse to be discouraged. 
and like Caleb and like so many before in Senegal and many other countries around the world, see God's kingdom established. See people worshipping Jesus because of what he's done. Totally, radically changed their lives. Bringing them into a holy relationship. Leaving the past behind them. And growing in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's what it's all about. For those of us who are Christians, that is the bottom line. I just pray tonight, as you've had little snippets, that God will encourage your heart. You just bless you in your own souls. For those of you who are ministers or pastors, you'll be really encouraged tonight. God enabling you with your leadership, with your congregation. We will go on because God will reward and God will bless. And there will be fruit from ministry if we are faithful and trust him and believe him. Hallelujah. Amen. We say amen. Hallelujah to that. A big smile on your face. Joy in your heart. It's tough. It's a battle. Yes. It's not easy. Temptation and discouragement. The devil will throw at it every day. There are days when I sit in the office and you say to yourself, what in the world am I doing here? Until I got this sweet thing and I stick it up in my notice board. God enabled me. I go on. I go on. Strength to the power of the Holy Spirit of Jesus. So the Lord bless you all. Thank you so much for coming. So now we just want to say a big thank you to the residents. Bless you. Uh, and just God fill you with joy. Let's give them a big hand. They're brilliant, aren't they? Just imagine, I'm going to have to wait till I get to heaven before I can sing. But uh, <laughs> anyway.